Hello. Um, whoa. My laptop is flashing for a second. Okay. I think it's good. All right. Well, <clears throat> this is my learning evidence video for The Rape of Man King uh, by Iris Chang. Uh, it's my second time reading it. Um, and, yeah, there was, I, there was a lot of stuff I actually forgot um, having read through it the first time. Like, I kind of just read things and I, I retain a, some of the information, but most of it is just kind of gone when I start another book. So it was really helpful to go back and read it, and uh, I really just – it helped me kind of revise my revi revi driving question from um, – I think my first draft of it was just, just in general, like, why is man cruel? But it helped me revise it to a more pertinent question of how does culture influence that, because I think that really pertains to The Rape of Man King, because the book – Especially um, Iris Chang, the author, she she tries and gets at that anyone is capable of committing cruelty, no matter what culture they come from. Like she says, okay, well the Japanese culture, like it's not the soldiers' fault necessarily, just the way they're brought up, the the way they were indoctrinated, the way that they there were such draconian like imperialistic measures imposed on their lives from the birth. Like that's all all they thought of, and so to them it's right. And she says that it's not just like she doesn't want to take the condescending view and say, well, if they were Christian, you know, they wouldn't be doing that because there's obviously evidence that Christians, like the Crusades and the Inquisitions, like they've they've done unspeakably cruel things as well. Um, and I think it's all just a, a real matter of perspective here. Um, and yeah, it really just drives the point home that the indoctrination, the whole like state b before individual that they, they, they worship the emperor, that he's, he's the ultimate, he's above God, essentially, and that Invading China was their right. It was a holy war for Japan. They were the hero. They were the victim of the world. They were the righteous, and they were imposing their righteous will on their so-called Chinese dog neighbors. Like they just basically the leaders hammered it home that the Chinese are no more than cats or dogs or a pig. Like that's all you should feel when you're decapitating them or killing or torturing them. And just, so, yeah. That's all fun and games. Uh, uh, butterflies and sunshine. Um, as well, it actually kind of helped me plant, kind of get some foresight into how I'm going to write my essay, and I'm thinking it's going to be a little similar to the layout of Iris, Iris Chang's novel in that I'm going to explain the events leading up to Nanking, and then I'm going to explain what happened in Nanking, all the atrocities, and so, yeah, just prepare yourself before reading that part and then I'm going to get into more of what it gets into in the second book I'm going to read The Chrysanthemum and the Sword and get into the Japanese psyche and the cultural influences specifically on them um, so yeah I'm going to take a less conventional route with the uh, essay it's still going to be around five paragraphs maybe maybe six I'm not quite sure and uh, yeah so I've got some planning for that um, and I'm also uh, rethinking my monologue idea instead of going with more of like a um, one act play to perform in class where there's someone interviewing a Japanese soldier who is still alive and he's protected. He's living a wealthy, like he's living a fruitful life, which is true to what most of the Japanese soldiers that committed the atrocities, like that's what happened to them. They didn't, they weren't punished at all. They're living normal everyday lives like the rest of us. So it'd be interesting to kind of get an interviewer asking the Japanese soldier, why did you do this? And him kind of playing it off as well anyone can do it anyone anyone can be cruel you and me aren't so different you know this is the way we were brought up and like just kind of, it, it, it is all i have for the idea so far but it's it's it sounds a lot better in my head i'll uh i'll probably get it across easy later but uh yeah one act play essay ideas indoctrination culture all that fun stuff yeah that's uh that's what i've learned this week that's what i've planned and yeah Looking forward to the synthesis piece and reading uh, Christ's Anthem and the Sword. Peace out. Wait, no, you didn't see it. There you go. Peace out.